So today I decided to go a little on the deeper side. I am going with the Lost Ultra Satin. So yeah, Lost is all kinds of dark red, but um, I kinda like it. I don't know if I can pull it off for work. We're gonna give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. So I will give this a shot all night in Lost and see how it goes. And hopefully um, everybody likes it. If not, I like it. I've definitely never worn anything this red. But um, I'm adventurous. We'll see how it goes. Usually I wear more like purpley kind of, you know what I mean, but not this red. I think I forgot to say it, but we're continuing with ColourPop. So this whole week will be all ColourPop, things I haven't worn. I have not worn this one. This is the first time I've ever worn it. So uh, keep her tosser. Okie dokie, so I just finished up my shift and I really like the color lost. I didn't think that I was going to be able to pull it off, but I got a lot of compliments when I walked in the door. Hmm. And I'm kind of really surprised that no one's been like, why do you wear a different lipstick every single day? So do I trust their judgment? They're blind. It's very curious, but anyway, this is a keeper. It's the Lost Ultra Satin Formula by ColourPop. I really like it. It's a keeper. And I'm going home now. On a little side note real quick, I've always steered away from reds because I didn't think I could pull them off. And I have a lot more to go that are red, so this kind of gives me hope. I can pull off red. On side note part two, here's the part of the sickness is that why do I buy reds if I'm afraid of wearing red? It's an addiction. It's a sickness. I'm telling you. Well, good morning. Hi. So today, in keeping with the color pop, I am going a little different, going a little paler. Going a little lighter today with another one I have not worn, the Color Pops Ultra Satin in Little Stitches, and I paired it up with the Color Pop Lippy Pencil in BFF2. I get more use out of the BFF2 lippy pencil than any of the other ones that I have because it's so neutral you can kind of pair it up with a lot more shades. I wasn't too sure about pairing it up with the little stitches because it's so pale but um, it kind of worked out nice. I like it. It didn't change the color a whole lot. Try it out. But I am not disliking it. It's ultra satin formula which I always like and yeah, it's really comfortable. I, I like this color. I like all colors. Addiction. So I'm hustling off to work and I will check in as always after I get off work. I guess this is what happens as it wears off. So little stitch, you gotta go. You are a huge tosser. I cannot do this. This is horrible. I'm switching right now. So I just completely wiped it off to reapply it. It's bright pink underneath. So I can't have that. I can't run and touch up every five seconds. Oh. So I switched to Magic Wand because um, that was the only one that I had in my purse. I don't know how long this one will last without showing through the bright pink, but um, hopefully, yeah, I'm super pissed about that. That's really embarrassing. I don't know how long I walked around with it showing through like that before I really noticed it, but tosser, total tosser. So Little Stitious is gone. I have never had any color pop color or lipstick stain my lips like that. A completely hot pink color, ever. All night long I kept having to fight to keep that hot pink stain covered up off my lips using the magic wand color and it just didn't look right all night long. So I don't know if I just got like a bad batch of the little stitches or if that's normal but if that's normal I don't want any part of it. I don't have time for that. Not pretty, not a good look. So to a different topic, you know how I said I had two Alyssas and I didn't know how and the reason is is because I ordered an Alyssa in November and I got two Alyssas instead and I never noticed. If I had noticed it sooner that I got two Alyssa's instead of November, I could have called them out on it, but now it's been too long, so I can't very well go back on it and say, hey, you gave me the wrong color, so that's why I'm a sucker. See, when you're an addict, you don't notice that you got the wrong lipstick shades, so really it's my own fault. I can't go back on it now and ask for them to fix it, but really I'm just an addict and I didn't notice. So that's enough of my whining and complaining for tonight, and tomorrow I think I'm going to go with one of the reds again. Let's try that sun, the ultra satin, or maybe metallic. And I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So, until tomorrow's fiasco, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Well, good morning. It's way too early to be up. I haven't had any coffee. I'm feeling a little cranky. Yeah. No. So, still going with the ColourPop. Today I am wearing Bad Habit, which looks similarly close to Barracuda. So when I first put it on, I thought, this looks familiar. So I went and grabbed Barracuda, and then swatched them on my hand, and thought, huh, weird. 
would have it is a matte formula. That's the one I have on now. And the Barracuda, I believe, is a satin formula. And this one is more of a pink undertone, and the other one is more of red. But the color of the two on each on my skin tone is really, really close. So um, for me, I, of course, I'm going to go for the Ultra Satin and the Barracuda. But I'm going to try this. So as always, I will check in later on tonight and let you know how it goes. And have a good day. See you in a while. Bye-bye. So I am all done for the night, and I am so dog tired. Um, got some much needed rain over here in California, so that's a good bonus, but I am tired. So today I wore the Bad Habit, and I really liked it. I had no problems with it. It's first ultra matte that I haven't been complaining about. <laughs> Shocker. I'm not sure what made this one so much different that it was way more comfortable than the other ones that I've worn. I know it's an older um, version or formula, but I liked it. Comfy. Can you see the rain spots on my window from my window? Rain spots on that is not a leopard. But this is kind of a hot mess right now for the end of the day, but it's the end of the day. But I worked a 14 and a half hour shift today or something like that. Of course it's gonna be a hot mess. I mean, come on people, did you really think it was gonna be perfect? No, long shifts. So that is all for tonight. Me and my leopard spots are gonna go home and crash. Done, going to bed, night night, done. Well, hello there. That was kind of an accent. Awkward and weird. I don't have an accent. I don't think I have an accent. No, I don't. That was weird. Anyway, if you had watched my last one of these little snappies, uh, Keeper Tossers, I had tossed Alyssa, um, but I had a second one on accident. So, so the main reason why I had to toss the other Alyssa is because it was a bad formula. The bottle itself was something was wrong with the formula. So it was clumpy and gross. So I found the other second Alyssa that I had accidentally ordered and that is what I'm wearing today. And it's the Ultra Satin and it's my favorite formula. So this one feels much better. So I'm hoping that this one, I don't have any problems with. It already feels different. The applicator was in perfect condition. There was no problems at all. Like it feels creamy, so yay. As always, I will check in tonight and hopefully there's no problems to check in with earlier. So I will see you guys after our bye. I am a very passive driver, but I think I'm developing road rage. Is it contagious? Is it something that can grow? Is it something you pass it to other people? Can I give it away? Do I have to keep it? Huh. I don't want to be one of those. I commute to work, so I'm not a very good commuter at all. Um, and I think people are starting to recognize me, and I think they're starting to hate me. Is that paranoia? just me or does the pink lipstick look really good with the blue? The Alyssa looks good with blue. Side note. I like it. But I also liked the Alyssa when I first put it on last week even though the applicator sucked and then it turned to crap. So come on Alyssa, you can do it. ColourPop Alyssa. Woo woo. Come on girl. One last random thing. Um, I missed the ColourPop sale where you got the free shipping and the trios and in November I was going to order but I did manage to order three new pairs of shoes yesterday. So hello, I just got done with work and I was wearing Alyssa. This one worked out great. See, I think it was just that tube that was messed up because I had zero issue. So I'm lucky that I have the backup where they sent me the wrong one, hmm. but um, I had no problems with it. So it's a keeper. This Alyssa is a keeper. Yep. So yeah, the Ultra Satin Alyssa is a keeper now. Um, back out of the tosser list, um, but I still want to order November. I still want November. I still want more. That is it for tonight, and tomorrow I will get a different color on and uh, see how that one does. See you next nap. Hello, here we are once again on the final day before I post this next one of Color Pop Keeper Tossing. And today I wanted to go really easy and go with like a nice fall look, um, so I used the Melt Rest Stack and Love Bug. The new color from the fall edit. Um, in the bottle, it looks like a nice little orangey kind of rusty look, but on my lips, it, but Love Bug on my lips is coming more across like a brick red color. And it's the ultra matte formula, and I thought it was the ultra satin. So as I applied, so as I applied it, I didn't use a lip liner, and I swear it's a hot mess. I have like the worst lines going on. Um, so, but I have. Like it just is so off on 
I'm like, it's so uneven. I did a bad job putting it on. Bad. Ugh. The ultra mat is a bitch to try and fix. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to take it all off when I get there, if I have time to do that, if I'm just going to look like a freak all day. And I did not add any of my Tokyo Milk Balm to this. I wanted to try it just straight matte by itself and see how it wears and see if I can handle it. Like, no joke, I'm already freaking out over the way that it feels. Um, I feel like it's in my teeth even though it's not. It's all in my head. I don't know. Ah, why do I do this? The rainy overcast lighting isn't helping like explain like, or show like how really dark this is. It actually looks better when I look in the camera, but it's super dark. I need to quit complaining, quit whining. I'll get to work. I'll fix it, make it straight, and then I will give this a fair shot all day uh, with the Ultramat formula. I could make one ColourPop wish. I wish that ColourPop would make all the colors in Ultra Satin and Ultra Matte, even limited edition, so we could choose. I literally would buy every single Ultra Satin color in the, wait, what? Hold on, what? Wait, I'm saying it backwards. Okay, okay this is what I mean. If they would make the Ultra Satin in the Ultra Matte, no, damn it, I can't say this right. What the hell? Third and final try. If they would make the Ultra Matte shades in Ultra Satin also, I would buy all of them because I'm not a fan of the Ultra Mattes. Ta-da! up and it has been a really long work week, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I did not make it through the day wearing this just straight matte. I added the Tokyo Milk Balm. So right when I first got here, um, I couldn't handle it. It was already peeling and patchy, and so I right away went upstairs, added the Tokyo Milk, took this off. So it's sad because I really do like the color after wearing it all day in like a creamy formula instead of a matte formula. I really like the color, but I cannot wear matte, so. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or toss it. Um, this one's more of a maybe. I just don't know if I feel like dealing with the drama. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Probably just gonna keep it for now and then decide later if I'm gonna ever wear it again. I, I just like the color. I'll probably wear it again. I just really wish they would make it into a ultra satin formula because then I wouldn't be so indecisive. I'll keep it. It's a keeper. I'll keep it. So I am now headed home and I think this is the end of week three of the um, ColourPop week three. Yeah. So I will see you in the next snappy story. Bye bye.